All right, guys, so the question reads, which of the following G protein second messenger cascade which, uh, is directly responsible for the release of intracellular stores of calcium? So G protein, uh, what do we know? Well, we know it's seven, seven <laughs> transmembrane, uh, and there's GS, GI, GQ, and so when you start seeing these things, protein kinase C, G protein inhibitory, nos nosotol, nosotol triphosphate, diacylglycerol and cyclic AMP. Um, very common. Uh, you see there's a lot, of, a lot of these on the NBME. Is here's what we know about G protein, right? Again, we know it's uh, seven transmembrane. So if the, here's the membrane. We go one, two, three, four, five, six. When you say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then uh, obviously goes down. And then... Um, we have this big kind of it's all together alpha gamma beta and then there's g dp and then the uh when it binds to the ligand the uh, gtp replaces the gdp um etc cetera, etc cetera. and then we're left with this uh, gamma and beta okay so with this we take over and then we know our three different types of g proteins right we got three types of G proteins. And we have the GS, we have the GI, G, you know, G stimulatory, G inhibitory, and then uh, GQ, okay? And so we know, again, we say G st stimulatory, and then this is the inhibitory. And so we know that if we take this gamma, gamma beta it go it is going to go with the i'm going to put him right here and he's going to go with adenyl 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 cyclase okay we need these guys of course g protein tr seven transmembrane gamma beta goes with the adenyl cyclase when it comes to the g stimulatory and g inhibitory they go down or they go in this arrow here and you know, with the little ATP, it's going to release cyclic AMP, and that's going to make this whole process go. But you have a dental cyclase is step number one, okay, step number one on this. And then it's going to go into protein kinase A, which is going to lead to um, intracellular calcium, uh, but heart, okay? So, again, if you stimulate the G stimulatory um, receptor or the G protein that's stimulatory, seven transmembrane, blah 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 blah. Um, it's going to go down here, and it's going to basically go with adenyl cyclase, release some cyclic AMP, give me some protein kinase A, and increase intracellular intracellular um, calcium. So, if I have, if I stimulated my G stimulatory um, uh, protein, I'm going to have more dental cyclase, I'm going to have more cyclic AMP, I'm going to have more protein kinase A, and I'm going to have more of this type of calcium. If it's a G inhibitory, what's this going to do? It's going to say no, right? If I, if I stimulate the inhibitory G protein, um, it's going to say no to this. So I'll have decreased adenyl cyclase, decreased cyclic A, cyc, uh, I should say, no, it's decreased cyclic AMP, decreased protein kinase A, decrease of this calcium, okay? Because it's inhibitory. And then we have the GQ. Here's this guy because we need him to attach to phospholipase C, okay? Phospholipase C. Now he's going to go and he's going to branch into diacylglycerol and inosyl triphosphate, okay? Inosyl triphosphate, IP3. Diacylglycerol is going to give me the protein kinase C, and the inosyl triphosphate is going to give me the increase in intracellular calcium. All right? You have to know this. You have to know these G, these G proteins. So to answer this question, which of the following G protein second messenger cascade is directly responsible for the release of <clears throat> intracellular stores of calcium. Well, I got two potentials here, right? Protein kinase C. Well, <clears throat> protein kinase C is right here. 
you know, he's not going to increase anything. He's at the tail end of this little thing. He doesn't, he, he's not upstream to my intracellular calcium, so I know it's not him. Is it G-protein inhibitory? No, wait a second. G, if I do him, he's going to stop this whole process. I would get less of all these, less of all these things. Um, is it IP3, and now still triphosphate? Maybe, because he's right here. So if I had the more of this guy, I might have more increase, so I like him. Is it diacylglycerol? Well, he's right here, so he would only give me more protein kinase C, so it's not him. Is it cyclic AMP? Well, he's right here. He's just like kind of a byproduct of us even going down this process. So he's not going to potentially, if I give more of him, that's not necessarily going to give me more of him. Okay. So my only answer on this one is going to be the anostyl triphosphate. He's upstream. So if I have more of him, I can get more intracellular calcium. So the correct answer is going to be C. You got to know this G protein, guys. And it's just a story. There's only three of them. And if you know the story from here, one stimulates it, one shuts it down. And the other one is just this phospholipase C breaks into in the two, diacylglycerol and IP3, and so on. So then you'd say, well, well what about all my, you know, what about all my, um, the, the, the receptors for the meds? Well, it's pretty easy from there because really all you have are, the GQ is going to be the have, which is histamine, um, alpha, vasopressin, have one, in, one M and M, so H1, alpha-1, B1, M1, M3, all these guys have one M and M or GQ. The uh, G inhibitory are your MAD2s, right? M2, alpha-2, D2. And then everything else is G stimulatory. Beta-1, beta-2, D1, H2, V2, everything else, right? So really, all you gotta know is have one M and M, goes with this guy. So if I activate this receptor here, uh, one of these receptors, what's going to happen? I'm going to have more of this, more of these, more of these, more of these. If I activate these receptors, I'm going to have less of these. If I activate one of these receptors, I'm going to, which are G protein, I'm going to have more of this. Okay, that's how you work it. But you got to know this process. It's one of those pathways you just got to know, guys. And then this one says. A 69-year-old male with benign prostatic hypertrophy begins taking terazosin, okay? Which of the following mechanisms mechanism occurs within the second messenger system? So it's the same process, but you got but here's the key on this one, right? You got to know what terazosin does. And what is it? It's an alpha 1 inhibitor. Okay? It's an alpha 1 inhibitor. So then you so then you go back and say, "Well, where, who are my alpha 1s?" Well, my alpha ones, remember that was the have one M and M, right? That was the have one M and M. And then who was he? You know, wh which process had this guy? Well, that was my GQ. And we said GQ was phospholipase um, C. And then he broke into two, which was my diacylglycerol and the IP3. And then he made uh, protein kinase C. And then he made increased intracellular calcium. So now I know where, I'm where they're going to ask me the question. They're going to ask me the question in that pathway because this medication is an alpha-1. I know alpha-1's here in a GQ. So let's just answer it. Which of the following mechanism occurs within the second messenger system? Okay. Well, the, and, but just remember this. This guy's an inhibitor. He's an inhibitor. So I got to be careful, right? This is normal if I activate this. So what's going to happen if I inhibit this guy? goes down, right? It goes down. So is it a decrease in cyclic AMP? No, that was up that was up top, right? That was the G stimulatory guy. Is it is it a increased cyclic AMP? No, it, the cyclic AMP does with GS GS and GI. Increase phospholipase C? Is it an increase? No, it's going to be a decrease in phospholipase cuz he's an inhibitor of it. Increase, increase in anosyl triphosphate? No, it would be a decrease actually because we inhibit it. So here's the deal, guys. It's a good question because you got to know mechanism. You got to know the medication. You got to know the mechanism of action. And then you just got to put it in this class. You know, the half one m and the MAD2s, everything else. You know, start at the top. It's GS, GI, GQ. Do it that way and you get all the questions right, guys.